over the weekend, you know, we were in Reading, and uh, the four of us went on a, I don't know, a market visit to go visit the city and had, to, had an event there. And during that time, Kyle and I got obsessed with Mindhunter Season 2 that came oh out. I gosh. think it came out on Friday. Yes, it did. Yeah, I mean, so it's already, like, we're done. We're both <laughs> Friday done. morning, I was, like, already two episodes in by the time I got to work. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's <laughs> so, amazing. So, like, any spare moments I had, I was watching the show. And it is literally all I can think about. Yeah, so uh, Season 2 is, what, and it's about uh, serial killers, real serial, serial killers. Um, and I finished it yesterday morning. And since it's finished, it's all you can think about? Yes. Yeah, it's same. It's same. I've gone on YouTube and watched so many interviews with the real serial killers, and it's consumed me so much so that I've been dreaming about it. Like, in fact, something happened last night. I put up my Instagram. You guys see my Instagram last night? Where mm-hmm. so, so Dutch, this is around 9.45 last night. I'm sitting there in the living room, and my wife's already, like, lights out. She's upstairs. Like, we're winding down to go to bed. And Dutch comes running Running in his underwear, like, <gasps> like scared, right? And, uh, and my first thought is, there's a serial killer trying to capture my kid. <laughs> oh, right? no. But it's his I older know. brother, Jake, who, you know, they, they screw with each other every night. And Dutch is like, uh, he's, we want to go jump in the jacuzzi, but Jake's sca- tr- trying to scare me. And then he's like, can you come with me and walk down the hallway with me? And the hallway's dark. And I'm laying on the sofa and I'm like, oh man, come on. So here's what happened. Listen. <laughs> What's happening? Who's coming at? Who's coming for you? Jake, he has a basketball. He's waiting there for me. I don't like this. <laughs> come with me. Steve will come. Uh, come. What am I going to do? He just needs me. You're going to be like human shield. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't have your shoes squeaking. Because <laughs> I was looking down, I was looking at the at the light switch, and you came out around the corner. <laughs> it's unbelievable timing. Like literally, the hallway's dark, and I'm looking down to turn up the light switch, and as I turn up, he's coming at us. <laughs> like I just, what? I'm like, what? but then I posted, and all the people were like, You're of the time that I had the cowardly lion when I walked into the garage, and Suzette was dressed as La Llorona in the back seat of my car. <laughs> but I had serial killer vibes. I know. Yeah. Right. I know. You, you it's gotta like... watch something light. You can't. You can't do that. You gotta. You gotta completely cleanse the palate, or else you can't. I, I, you can't. I, I it have, just I sticks watched, with you. Yeah. Watch Shrek or something. No, no <laughs> I've, I've watched like three other things that had nothing to do with serial killers afterwards, and it Did was you watch like the no. Jim Gaffigan thing. I watched a little bit of it. He's so funny. You don't think he's funny? Uh, I think I'd, I feel like he's biting Brian Regan's style oh, a little he, bit. I, yeah, I'm it's sure almost that... like he's just trying too hard to be him, and it's like I got to look past it. I got to be in the. Mi- I don't think I was in the right frame of mind <laughs> to be watching a comedy special because <laughs> I was still <laughs> stuck. It was like literally all I could think about. Like, we woke up Sunday morning, and I hung out with the kids, vegged out with them for a little bit, and then you know put them down for their nap, and then it was like. You know, time for our Sunday fun day. <laughs> Just woke up. You mean when you and your husband have sex? Oh. I was like, you Sunday fun day some mimosas? Yeah. Yeah. Sunday fun day for her and her husband. Her and her husband have sex <laughs> every Sunday. Yeah. They turned it up a notch. <laughs> every Sunday. Do you, have, do, do you do it at a certain time or do you just know it's going down on Sunday? I mean, it's usually when the kids go down for a nap because it's like. Oh, so it's in the daytime? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's like Sunday night. I got to go to bed. Right. <laughs> Sunday morning. You just want to sleep in. Or, you know, like my daughter who's four, she comes in and wakes us up really early usually. So, like, it's that time, and it's like, we're kind of multitasking because I also needed to shower. So it's like, all right, let's, you know, take care of everything. But it's like, that's all I'm thinking about. So, like, you know, we're both washing our hair, and I'm like, do you know, do you remember hearing at all about the Atlanta child murders? And he's like, no. And I'm like, 27 kids, 27 kids died, and they never convicted anyone for the child murders. What? They think they found the guy because, like, evidence tied him sort of to it. But they only got two convictions, and that was for two adults that he killed. And I'm like – and then I'm, like, kind of, like, thinking in my head, like, 
Well, this is kind of a mood killer. <laughs> like, it's like, <laughs> like you're in the shower, like you're lathering him up and you're bringing I'm this not up. I'm lathering him up. Like, <laughs> you should like be. I'm, I'm shower. <laughs> like it's, we're killing two birds with one stone. Like I also have to shower and wash my hair. So as I'm washing my hair, I know things aren't going to happen while I'm washing my hair. But as I'm washing my hair, that's all I'm thinking about. Right. I'm not thinking about moments from now, things are going to happen. Then after that came out, I was like, this is going to be awkward for things to happen after this. <laughs> like, you know, it's like, then I'm like, I got to switch the subject. I'm like, so how are the kids this weekend while I was gone? <laughs> it's just like, I have to have a couple of other conversations before anything happened because it was like so, you know, it was just like not the mood setter, if you will. I got you. There was like no closure because like she said, there's 27 murders, right? And two of them, the guy got put in prison for two of them, right? And... As a viewer, there was no closure, right? I can't imagine what it's like as the parent. That's what oh. I keep thinking but, about. So but they also let you know, like, I believe the guy killed them all. Oh, yeah. Right? They should, but they, just, they, they, they can't accuse him. And I think they're reopening. As I researched everything last night, all day yesterday, I looked at every single murderer. This is a fascinating show, this Mindhunter thing, because it's so real. And I Googled everything, because my thing was, is this whole thing real? Because the story, the two, the two FBI agents are real. Mm -hmm. They're based off two other guys. So it's all, everything's true. Mm -hmm. They're even, I didn't know this as I was researching it, the two guys that are the main story, the main guys of the TV show, that's where they came up with Silence of the Lambs were based off of that guy, those guys. Oh. Really? That's all a serial killer show too. So like, it was a book in the 70s, the 80s or something like that. Um, and so it's all real. So these guys really did interview all these people and the same thing happened in Atlanta during Atlanta stuff. So it's just crazy how it's it's all real. Is, is it set up for a season three with the Atlanta oh, yeah. thing? Or? Well, it's set up. the. So I was Googling like, when does season three come out? Because mm -hmm. I'm like, no it's only been yet. out for a weekend and I'm like, I need mm -hmm. the next season There already. has to be a season three because of the little snippets of the B2K guy. I know. Well, Netflix hasn't actually confirmed yet that there will be a season three, but the director and the producer said they have like a, a full set out Bible of at least five seasons. Okay. Five seasons is oh, what wow. the show was intended for when it very first started because the two FBI agents who started this behavioral science unit, which discovered what serial killers were mm -hmm. and talked to serial killers to find out how they could catch other serial killers. They did work until 1996. And so far, season one and season two have only covered up until 1980. So oh. they've got their work all the way up until 96 to go over, but Netflix hasn't said yet whether or not it you know, I wish Maybe the actors want more money or whatever because because there has to be. Well, here's the annoying thing, and I didn't realize it was this long. Season one came out October of 2017, and we didn't get season two until Friday. That was like two right. years. So I'm like, yeah. if I have to wait forever. another two years for this show, I'm going to die. By the way.